All right, so second part. I'll go up to the upstairs. See his old push button? That is old school. They solved the shower curtain issue with, yeah, PVC frame over the clawfoot tub. People like those clawfoot tubs, but that fixture to make a shower head is more expensive than the tub is. You can see a lot of work up here. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, this is gonna take quite a bit. Quite a bit to get done. Second kitchen from the old two family. Uh, gas is off, but I guarantee that these fireplaces are not functional. Cork and mirror on the walls. All right. Okay. We'll check out the third floor. I mean, so far, I don't feel any creaks, or, but this is pretty much from my perspective of gut rehab. You're going to put in it about what you would get out. So at 130, 140, see that's a torch down roof there that got some cracking and checking. My guess is the whole room. See this one next door? That's TPO. That is a. Uh, reflective material that helps with energy efficiency you got a, a deck on the side it'd be kind of cool if you built that get top dollar on this you'd have to build this out really do this one nice and another sink up here boarded up window lots of uh, roof issues so this roof is more than likely shot probably going to have a lot more structural issues just from the roof and the flooring uh you know my best guess and what it would take to do this and do this right is you're going to put in about 120 to get it fixed up it's got a lot a lot of everything you're going to have that looks like fire damage one point could be just moisture, but that's your roof up there. What we're looking at underneath, that's the decking for the roof, the flat roof. Um, I would say you gut it, expose the brick all the way on this wall, on the interior walls that separate you from the neighbors, and uh, redo the whole thing. I mean, you're very easily, you could get up to 150 and cost pretty quickly. And the problem is if you cheap out on the rehab, this was a three family at one time. You had three separate uh, living spaces, three separate apartments. If you cheap out on this, it won't, you won't get anywhere near the right price. There's no way to cut corners on it, unfortunately. Low end in this neighborhood's uh, 275. High end is upwards of four plus. Those are mostly standalone buildings. For something like this, I would say your high end's 275, and you're gonna you're gonna spend the difference getting it there for resale. If your exit strategy is Airbnb. You obviously can clean this up a little bit. Short-term renters are going to look past a lot of things that long-term renters won't. It's nice and quiet. But you almost want to double this up into two separate units if you do that. I'm not quite sure it'll sustain that. So the Airbnb strategy might be a little, a little tough on this one. But... Uh, you know how to get a hold of me, and any questions you have, I'm happy to answer. Thanks.